Hello everyone. We welcome you all to our second series of lawyers on company law, a byproduct of our YouTube channel The Normal Litigators. Today, I am advocate Upasna, legal associate at the law offices of Kuvar Vivek Tamo, advocate and associates is going to discuss about the number of directors, interstate company directorship and qualification or disqualification of directors. So, a com- public company shall have minimum 3 and private company shall have minimum 2 directors and every company may have maximum 15 directors which can be raised by passing a special resolution and one of such directors shall be a woman. Every company has to have at least one Indian resident director and one third director must be independent directors. Section 165 provides that no person shall hold office as a director including any alternate directorship in more than 20 companies at the same time and 10 companies in case of public companies. Now comes to the qualification of directors. The person who intends to work as a director shall apply to the central government for director identification number that is also called DIN number which shall be allotted to him once only. Now the requirement of qualification here is not present in the new act but section 270 of the old act provides that the director shall have to acquire the qualification share within two months otherwise he shall be punished. Since the new act does not provide anything about the qualification share, a company even now may have to provide this does not contravene the provisions of the Companies Act 2013. Now comes to the disqualifications. Section 164 provides for disqualification of directors. According to it, a person shall not be eligible for appointment as a director of a company if he is of unsound mind and stands so declared by the competent court. And second, he is an undischarged insolvent. Third, he has applied to be adjudicated as an insolvent and his application is pending. Fourth, he has been convicted by a court of any offence, whether involving moral turpitude or otherwise and sentenced to imprisonment for not less than six months and a period of five years has not elapsed from the date of expiry of the sentence. If a person has been convicted and sentenced to imprisonment for a period of seven years or more, he shall not be eligible to be appointed as a director in any company. Next is, an order disqualifying him for appointment as a director has been passed by a court or tribunal. Next, he has not paid any calls in respect of any shares of the company held by him, whether alone or jointly with others, and six months have elapsed from the last day fixed for the payment of the goal. Next is, he has not complied with Section 3 of 152 and not obtained DIN number. Apart from these requirements, a person must not be director including the company in which he intends to be appointed as director in more than 20 companies. Section 164 Clause 2 provides for an additional disqualification, which says that no person shall be reappointed in a company or appointed in another company as a director if a company of which he has been director has failed to file financial statement or annual return for three consecutive financial years and has failed to return the interest on the public deposit, etc. for one year or more. That's all about the qualifications and disqualifications of directors. I hope you all have liked our podcast channel. If so, then do please subscribe our channel, The Noble Litigators. You can ask questions, give feedback and for further queries, contact us on our website www.advocatetanmo.com. Thank you and have a good day.